What is up, YouTube? It's Aiden back again, presenting you all with another video. And you're wondering why robots here, because we're going to do something that I have never thought of doing. So, if you want to see something really cool, if you, or if you can't tell by the title of the video, it's going to be spoiled, like, like some users do. So, what I'm going to do is something that's never, ever, ever, ever been done. You guys know that the next character I'm looking for is Snake to go with Robot, right? But he's a turns out Snake is over like a million or eighty one dollars on Etsy. Let me type it up real quick and you can see it. All right, so here's the custom Snake. It's not on Toy Story replicas UK since everybody knows on Nick's YouTube channel that um, it's been been closed down. So I found this one that looks pretty cool. Let me show you all, all the details or if you wanted to see it again. So here's the bag. Here's Snake, obviously, out of the bag. And here's like his size. And there's another bag. I think where Nick got the snake on um, Toy Story Replicas UK. It had a, a little plastic hinge like this one, which is $101.89 next to this custom robot looks really cool but you know it's kind of expensive even run off my price range at the moment so so here's the the, the real bit if I get this one in the bag because it's a handmade custom because you know anyways it's exactly about $177.74 it's really expensive not even i could even afford for these kind of customs like this huh so yeah really expensive to get this kind of things right buddy yeah but lucky for me we're gonna do something that i never thought of doing by myself making my own custom made snake that would look great to fit on with robot so and i saw this video of this guy who was doing a live action toy story 2 I, don't, I think it's Bado Productions. I don't know how to spell his name correctly, but it, let's let's watch the video how how he made his his snake. They look great along with his robot. I'll let I'll videotape the video of how he made his his small snake to go with this with the landing with this McDonald's robot, and we'll get on to work. So let's watch that video real quick, guys, before we make make my little snake. Okay, so here's his channel. So I'll probably link his channel description below. And so this is the the Bottle Productions. Like this guy's cool, actually. Like I never seen him do these kind of videos. And and besides seeing Toy Story and ooh, a live action Bugs Life, huh? And live action Monsters Inc. That's really impressive. I oh, and Spider Man, Deadpool, and uh, oh, oh. Right, anyways, um, here's how he makes his custom snake and and a custom troll, but I'm probably gonna do that video real soon. I don't have a pink hair troll for my collection, but but anyways, let's get on watching the video how how this guy made a custom small snake to go with the robot. All right, so 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 he takes off the, the plastic hinges off, huh? And, uh huh, and he connects them together, huh? Everybody knows how to connect these snakes, huh? Like they're plastic hinges, right? And uh, I kind of like how he plays. I'll never, never let you song. You know, this is part of Toy Story 4. How Forky tried to escape the truck. Oh, so googly eyes, glue them on, red cloth. All right, look at that. I kind of like his his bobblehead Rex. I don't know where he got it. And look at those pictures, like these pictures look great. And there's Woody near him, standing right next to Mr. Potato Head. That's really cool. And and no surprising enough, I have that Burger King, Mr. Potato Head. You could have seen that video at the flea market. I'll probably tell you guys where to find it. It my video was posted in July 2023 last year. So so find that playlist and you'll see that video. And I wonder where you got that bobblehead Rex bottle. Let me know if if you ever see this video, actually. Anyways, let's get on to work how to make this snake possible. Okay, so I got all the materials that we're looking for. A, a green and, and purple snake. I got this in Atlantic City when I was at an arcade. You know, we were there for my brother's birthday, and he wanted to head by to the arcade for a while. And then me and his friend were, were playing on some cool 
machines and got a lot of credit on. So, uh, so my first thought of getting was this green and purple snake, so I could do a custom made in which the video's day has become. And I got some gorilla super glue. And for some of you kids, you can't use this unless you have adult supervision to do this stuff. And I went over to to Michael's. It's a handcraft store. Um, uh, here in New Jersey, so you and like in the video need some googly eyes and some red cloth and some scissors. Make sure you have adult supervision. Have that as well. Besides the gorilla glue, like the gorilla glue is extremely super sticky, and, and it's gonna take you like days to get the stick off. And the scissors, I think in the video that he cut it up like this to make his tongue. So, anyways, let's get to work. All right, robot, let's get to work. So, as I'm watching the video again, but this time instrumentally, I don't want you guys to hear music in the background. So I think the first step that he did was probably pull the green head out. So, and now we got this. And I, and I think what he also did was pull this piece out as well. I think pretty much all of these pieces are gonna be unpulled. So we get out to it's gonna take me a while to do this, but hey, this video is gonna be long enough for you guys, so let's do it actually. And let's connect them. And I think in the video, as we watched again, I think he, as he connected them like this, they were upside down, you know, to make it like film accurate. Because in the movie, Snake then had so many black and red and yellow circles on top of him. So I think if I keep doing like this it could be more film accurate look to me so let's get get pulling and and, and make the snake possible as we're doing good guys so it's gonna take a while so and so oh so it'll take me like a second for me to get this thing Finish so hey so I'll let you guys know when I'm ready to get this finished. Hold on. All right, so so I got these pieces out. So so we still have like some spare greens and spare purple plus purple tail. Snake didn't have a purple tail in the movie and a purple head. So I guess I could save these pieces in case of any of these pieces, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Look really cool. Now let's put these things aside and connect this piece off. I had to. Pull his head out so we can put the hinges on. And now, here comes the final touch. Let's just get this plastic hinge on. Like snakes, quite the snakes hard to put on. And here we are, making it film accurate, like. Let, let, let's flip it over by by a side and, 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 and show you. So it looks great, actually. And now the next step, as you can tell in the video I showed you, we're ready to do the googly eyes. So I think if I could watch that video again, I think it's some kind of small eyes that this guy used to put on Snake. Let's get to work. All right, so I'm going to have to use the scissors because in the... You can see by that little scissor snip, so we're gonna have to cut the scissor carefully. Make sure you don't cut yourself if you're trying to do these things. If and if your kids want to make a snake for your for their Toy Story collection, let's do this and look at all these googly eyes. Now let's see which one will look great because we got small and medium. So I'm, I think we'll try to do medium ones. I need to find the exact one will look matching for snake. Oh, I think we got them. Yep, they, they match. Oh, wait, no, they're way too... too big, I think. Hmm. Wait, maybe I should look at the video again before he puts them on. Oh, wait, no, they do look great, actually. So I think he puts them, like... Like this and yeah, like that. So I think we're gonna have to have to snap the bag on again. 
there. Now it's time for the Gorilla Glue. So you guys got to be very careful using this stuff. This is super sticky. Right for, for this at the moment. This thing is quite hard to squeeze out, actually. Why won't this thing squeeze? It's been like two minutes since I'm trying to squeeze the glue out. Just wait till, till the next part, guys. Hang on. Oh, all right, guys. We are almost just about done. It took me a while, but I had to unscrew it and use the part of the silver whitish tip of the bottle and, and place it on the googly eyes, which will take a while to drive. I mean... <laughs> dry i kind of get those two mixed up every time i'm saying these words and now while we let that settle let's do the cloth next so and i think in the video he cut a little piece off and and try to slither it in here i think then we get the tongue right so let's get to work on that so where so where is that paper oh here it is Robot, can you pass it over? Thanks, buddy. Hmm. Now, I'll try to cut one. Try to cut. There. And now all we gotta do is cut more pieces off. Kind of a little snip. Like this. And one last snip. And we got this part off check. And I just need to do one little snip to make, to make like snake has this in the movie is look like that and now and, and cut off the back like this it's still a little long let's try to cut off a little bit more So I think we're gonna have to wait until till the glue set doubles up and then we'll do great on the snake. Watch. Okay, so after snapping the final piece, I think we got it right. And I got these extra scrap pieces, I'll throw them throw them into the trash. And let's see how it looks on a scale of one to ten. Let's get to work. Here it is guys. Wow. I have to say I've done pretty good with myself. And I think I got it looking just like in the video. Oh, and it looks great along with Robot on his McDonald's robot that he has. So I think if I could flip it around, we can make it like how he poses it with it. Hold on. Hold me on. Man, man this part's like really. Like it doesn't want to pop on. <laughs> Maybe it'll look, look good like it. Like, it looks exactly like in the picture. Mm -hmm. Like this, to this, to this, to this. Like, Robot and Snake, you can't doubt these guys. Let's do some other pics uh, of how great it looks with some of the small characters. So here's the good details next to my 1999 McDonald's Woody and Buzz Lightyear next to the custom Snake. And if you haven't seen the video about me doing the reviews about the, the McDonald's toys, if you mentioned by the robot, check out the video last year I posted in, in 2022 
where I did like um McDonald's Toy Story two unboxing reviews. It's um you could see it in the videos I posted in two thousand twenty two, or you could see it in the title by yeah I think it's just just videos I posted in twenty twenty two. And, or in videos I posted in December 2022. And I'm gonna say, I've done really good with myself with this video. So I gotta say, so this McDonald's robot look, look, looks great along with my custom snake. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And I'm glad you watched every last detail in this video how, how I can make this snake possible. So I don't want to over damage it too much because the glue is still trying to dry and I, I do not want, want the tongue to come off but it looks but it looks cool you guys let, like let's see if it works like um wiggle it along what the? so snake and robot faulty duty please what I don't want huh I, I'm very sad. I'm very proud of myself. So let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys think. And and you'll see me soon in another video where I'm gonna when I get a pink hair troll and get some like that flower bikini outfit. And I can cloth or something. Maybe I can make like a, a like like the troll from Andy's room for the first two movies, and it will look great because you know I have a green hair troll and an orange hair troll, but obviously it's not film accurate for me. And plus, I would not get Poppy from Trolls because it's, because, because you know, DreamWorks and Pixar kind of don't match together. But even though, if you could tell by flushed away, if a f if when Roddy was flushed down the sewer, a fish said, "Can you help me find my dad?" And if find Nemo reference. So so yeah. So yes, yeah, Snake and Robot are finally together. So. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and more videos will be on your way, and if any of you Toy Story collectors who follow me on YouTube, let me know what your thoughts about this custom snake I made. So, so we'll see you in the next video, guys, and, and, and let me know uh, if you guys want to do this. Just follow the, follow the Bado mm, production guy, and, and watch his short, uh, how he makes the snake, and then... It will look great. Trust me, guys. You you will not regret if you want to make a custom snake for yourself. Now, anyways, from all the X's and all the O's, I love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.